Paso aquí en Auto 060 y esta semana también tuvimos la oportunidad de conducir un auto nuevo, un modelo nuevo de la Buick, el Buick La, la Cross 2014, un auto totalmente rediseñado y que marca en, en cierto modo el, el final del primer ciclo del renacimiento de la marca de lujo de la General Motors y con este Buick La Cross. Eh, yo creo, a mí lo que me sorprendió más eh, no es solamente su diseño, la, la gran cantidad de tecnología, sino el precio. Un auto que por eh, alrededor de 40 mil dólares, 41 mil, 42 mil dólares se puede adquirir con un altísimo nivel de lujo, un altísimo nivel de accesorios de tecnología, comunicación y entretenimiento eh, que francamente sorprende y entra a competir con otros modelos que también... Han, han llegado a ese punto de, de referencia en el precio y de accesorios y lo que ofrece para los consumidores. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista que hicimos mientras manejábamos el Buick Lacrosse 2014, hablando con Roger McCormack, eh, uno de los responsables del mercadeo de Buick para acá en Estados Unidos. Hello Roger, thank you for uh, visiting us here in Miami with a new beautiful Lacrosse and uh, we're in the top of line model. I mean, um, this car has everything. Huh? Yeah, this is the ultra luxury. Car. It's got uh, tomo ash wood, it's got um, uh, beautiful sangria uh, leather, semi aniline leather seats. Um, you can see a lot of the detail uh, that we paid, we paid a, a bunch of attention to detail like the, like the microfiber headliner that gives you again that feeling of luxury throughout and that's That's on a package that's already just got luxury execution inside and out. Yeah. And uh, this car symbolizes, I mean, finishes like a, a cycle in which uh, Buick has been revert, right? I mean, it's like everything is new in Buick, right? Like, what's the oldest car? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, our Verano, at, when we come out with our 14 mile a year Lacrosse and Regal, our Verano will be our oldest vehicle in our, in our lineup, and that's only. That's less than two years yeah, old. I remember yeah. we were in Santa Barbara for that one, I Ex think. Exactly. So we have, um, it's just, I mean, think of it as a product offensive. Just uh, we're bringing out great products consistently. And um, what we're trying to do is bring new people into the Buick family. And uh, by delivering all the key traits, all the key Buick, Buick DNA that people are are uh, familiar with and layering on top of that great technologies and infotainment and safety and just beautiful elegant designs and great interiors uh, we're just bringing more and more people into the world yeah um you were mentioning that sales are going really well and um important uh, back in that is conquest uh, back so like where are people coming from to and, and picking that dollar cross up yeah it, it, all over i mean um the idea of conquest sales so we get Um, over 40% of our buyers come into lacrosse um, and they're coming into lacrosse from something other than another GM vehicle. So they're coming from uh, manufacturers like Lexus and uh, even, you know, Toyota and Honda and Acura. Um, and it's just an indication that we're attracting new people to the to the brand, attracting new people to Buick that maybe in the in the recent past hadn't hadn't considered Buick yeah. uh, in the past, and, and it's really on the strength of of the product, right? So someone who's in a Lexus ES, um, they see the Buick Lacrosse, they spend time in it, um, and and I think that's what gets them to move. For us, it's really a strategy of seats and seats, getting people to experience all the great new products that we have. And um, once we do that, it changes their opinion of Buick. They're much more likely to consider us. So it's for us, it's really, um, we want to expose people, get some awareness, but we really want to get people to test drive our cars. Um, so we try to get them to go to the dealerships as much as possible to, to really experience the cars. Um, and once they do, it changes, yeah, like what, yeah, what, what, it what changes it opinion. And um, so the product has been, uh, I mean, the improvements have been like day and night from the past six, seven, eight years. Uh, and then, uh, like, part of your job is um, the, the commercial, pretty cool <laughs> campaigns on, on Buick in general. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, all the communication is a combination. You want to really show what the benefit, um, what the benefit the consumer gets, what are the key 
aspects of the vehicle that we think will res resonate with consumers that they find important but to do it also in a way that attracts attention so you can think about if you wanted uh the shack commercial which yeah. is what, 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 <laughs> the know, money, not like the 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 manning where okay they get attention just by virtue of who they are but the things that they're doing the the, the um, attributes that they're demonstrating in the vehicle are very appropriate and they're important to people so if it's shack who's showing how big the vehicle is and how roomy it is while also getting great fuel economy 36 miles per gallon in an e-assist lacrosse that all makes sense and if it's Peyton manning who's who's working with his intellilink system and getting giving it as as we say audibles yeah. and and uh giving it voice commands and using the intellilink system that's appropriate to, to Peyton, but it's also um, where it speaks to what people find valuable and useful in the, in the cars, in the Verano in that case. Yeah, uh, going back to this in the lacrosse, I mean, we're driving in Miami and maybe, I mean, we're in radio, so people aren't, probably haven't realized that we're moving. Yeah, the car is so quiet. It is. I mean, that's one thing we're known for, right? I yeah. mean, if there's one thing that we have equity in that people say, uh, when we ask people, what do you think about Buick? It really comes back, um, they really play back to us that, oh, those are, those are quiet and comfortable cars, which we love. But what we really like about the new lacrosse as well is we've layered on top of the, what people expect, that quiet and comfortable and even beautiful, elegant styling. We've layered on top of that just great technology, whether it's technology in infotainment or technology in safety. Um, maybe they haven't thought about Buick in those terms before. Now all of a sudden we've got a suite of safety features that really surrounds the car with safety, whether it's lane change alert, whether it's um, side blind zone alert, forward collision alert, rear vision cameras, um, uh, you know, uh, all those different safety features that they, uh, rear cross traffic alert, Things they wouldn't they wouldn't think of Buick of, uh, think about Buick in the past in those terms. Now all of a sudden we can demonstrate we've got all the latest technology. In fact, nobody in our competitive set has that suite of technologies in, in the area of safety that we do. And then we throw on the technology of the IntelliLink system, which is you know seamless connectivity between your smartphone and your car, and we make it easy to use via big juicy um, icons and just very intuitive controls. Um, now we've kind of broadened the way people think about Buick. So you've got DNA stuff that yeah, started our conversation yeah. about quiet and comfortable, and then all these other things that we layer on top. And that's what we. That's why we feel so good about uh, the 14 mile year lacrosse. Yeah. Uh, let's talk money. I mean, we are seeing on the top of the line model. So how much is this car? Um, this one will start at. Uh, I don't have the number off the top of my head. Uh, right around 40. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of car for that yeah. kind of money. It is. It's an, and it's a, it's a ton of car. Um, it, it, like I say, it's just, it's, it's beautiful in every way. And then you layer on top of that all the, all the technology and the execution, whether it's live stitching that you can see in front of you on the IP, whether it's these beautiful semi aniline uh, sangria leather seats. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a great package. Well, thank you very much for the time and uh, information about the Buick LaCrosse. Uh, obviously, yeah. people can go to the website, right, to yes, find more information. Yes, absolutely. And actually, you can get into uh, you can get into this this um, Ultra Lux package on one of our lower lower packages as well, on just the leather package, so you don't have to equip it with everything, everything else if you don't want but to. So you can get it for under that price. But let's be honest, people are, want everything. They nowadays. do. They want like the one we're driving right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. And uh, another thing, uh, you also do a, um, a series of very cool events when you mix culinary and luxury events and luxury hotels. Are you still doing that this year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, we, uh, what you're calling the Buick Discovery Tour, which is gives people a, a chance to, in a very lifestyle event, so mix in the chance to test drive our vehicles and really experience our vehicles. I mentioned getting seats and seats yeah. is so important to us. The, the, the ability to do that, but at the same time get a cooking de demonstration from, you know, a, a high-profile chef. Um, it's just a great, it's a great opportunity to mix some lifestyle stuff in with experience in the car. Yeah, the whole experience. Well, thank you very much, Roger, for your time again, and I uh, hope to see you soon uh, in another Buick event. I appreciate thank your you. time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks.
Bueno, esa fue la entrevista manejando el nuevo Buick LaCroix 2014 y como decía ahí, eh, realmente me ha impresionado el auto eh, porque aún en su versión más equipada, con más lujo, el precio apenas supera los 40 mil dólares. El precio base empieza en los 34 mil 60 dólares. Eh, este auto viene equipado con el eh, motor V6 de 3.6 litros que genera 304 caballos de fuerza, una transmisión automática de 6 cambios, eh, tracción en las ruedas delanteras y eh, francamente es un, eh, un, un auto que, que sorprende por, por eso, por, lo, por el paquete completo, ¿no? Eh, aunque la, el, el modelo básico eh, obviamente no tiene todo el equipo que, que mencionamos ahí durante la entrevista como los sistemas de comunicación, entretenimiento y seguridad, bueno, realmente eh, luce muy bien, luce muy atractivo, un diseño bastante europeo y está ahora en el mercado para competir con modelos como Volvo, Acura, Lincoln, eh, Volkswagen Passat y algunos de la Chrysler así que una, una buena opción que yo creo que, que vale la pena para los que no le han dado una oportunidad a la Buick en años recientes porque quizá pensaban que es una marca más uh, relacionada con una audiencia o con un eh, nivel de compradores de mucha más edad eh, ya no es el auto del abuelo el Buick digamos eh, ahora son mucho más modernos y tienen una, una gama bastante interesante eh, no solamente el, en, en sedanes, también tienen la Enclave, que es la SUV grande con uh, tres filas de asientos y capacidad para siete pasajeros. Y este año también sacaron la Encore, que es una versión mucho más compacta de, la, de una SUV, una crossover, eh, para cinco pasajeros, pero todavía eh, con todos los niveles de lujo que tiene acostumbrado la Bioica a sus consumidores. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos una entrevista muy especial con el piloto mexicano Daniel Suárez que está brillando en la NASCAR y su futuro. Así que esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.